The color grade of a diamond is based on the presence of yellow or brown tints on the scale developed by the Gemological Institute of America. Jaya. Diamonds are graded DZ, with D indicating it's colorless and Z diamonds having heavy shades of brown. F and G diamonds are positioned toward the top of the color scale. The main difference between F and G color diamonds is that G diamonds show slightly more yellow compared to F, which puts them in the near colorless category. Buyers pay premiums for F diamonds because of its colorless gray, even though the two often appear identical. To help you decide which is the right choice for you, we'll compare F versus G diamonds, including an overview of each and three distinctions. What are F color diamonds? F color diamonds are the third highest position on the GIA color scale. They fall within the colorless section but show more yellow compared to D and E diamonds. Its qualities place it one letter grade above G diamonds. Even though F diamonds don't earn the highest mark, it's often difficult to find any flaws related to its color. Take this example of a one carat diamond. No matter which angle you view it, the yellow is difficult to find. Even when it's placed next to the D colored diamond below, they're indistinguishable from one another. But the difference is apparent when viewed with magnification. When demologists determine its color grade, they place it under tank's magnification and scan back and forth. So while the gemologist found a hint of yellow in the F diamond, the D diamond was clean. What are G color diamonds? It's the fourth highest position above H, I, and J. Even though there's a whole category of diamonds with less color, G diamonds are still a rare find. Most diamonds show significant color, which is why buyers pay a premium for any lacking that trait. When you rotate the image, yellow is visible at every angle. Now look at this G diamond. If you didn't know its color gray, you would think it earned the highest designation. Placing them side by side demonstrates the superior quality of G diamonds versus ones in lower category, but the yellow tints are more obvious under tank's magnification. In fact, gemologists can spot them easily with a jeweler's loop. If they were more hidden, the diamond would earn a colorless grade instead of G. What are the differences between F and G diamonds? Although F and G diamonds are next to each other on the color scale, they have several differences that should affect your decision on which is best for you. Let's discuss those distinctions in detail. 1. G diamonds are a better value. As a buyer, you shouldn't be too concerned with the specific grade a diamond receives. That's true for its clarity as well. Instead, prioritize how it appears when viewed in a normal setting. Jewelry retailers earn high margins when you pay premiums for characteristics that can only be seen under a microscope. As you'll see, this is true with color. I'll demonstrate by comparing prices of G versus F diamonds, where its other grades are the same. For the ones with G color, the average price was $6,226. The range was $5,330, $6,710. For F color, the average cost was $7,556, with a range between $6,970 and $9,880. That's a 21% premium for an F diamond over G, even though the two often look identical when placed next to each other. That's why I say G diamonds are a better value. Plus, that premium is higher than the one between other color grades. When you jump from one category to another, like near colorless to colorless, there's more of an upcharge in comparison to an H to G diamond. 2. F diamonds are colorless. F diamonds are colorless, and G diamonds are near colorless. As we've discussed, the actual difference between these two grades are minimal. When you place one next to the other, it's difficult to tell them apart. If they weren't labeled, you likely wouldn't know the difference, but some buyers desire the satisfaction of a colorless diamond. They want to maximize its qualities across the four CS and may ensure their diamond has grades like an excellent cut and flawless or VVS clarity. Even though they appear similar, there's intangible value to a higher quality diamond. 3. G is the most popular color for engagement rings. G is often the most popular color for engagement ring diamonds because it strikes the balance between appearing colorless and avoiding the premium's charge for higher grades. Because it sits outside the colorless category, there's a disproportionate drop in price compared to its value and appearance. It's surrounded by a halo of small diamonds and paved on the shank. The color of those accents are G and H, so the center diamond isn't dull in comparison. That's an important tip for engagement rings with a G color. Be mindful of the colors of any additional diamonds on the ring, if they're graded D or E. The larger stone may show yellow in comparison, but if you've chosen a solitaire diamond ring with a G grade, you don't have to worry about any contrast. Even though a G color diamond is a common choice, you shouldn't start your search there. Instead, 
you can also find value at Jag or at color grades, depending on its weight. Are there any similarities? There are also similarities between F and G diamonds. Consider a lower color grade if your diamond ring is set in yellow or rose gold, like in the setting below. The color from those settings has the potential to make the diamond appear darker no matter its color. So it's not always worth the high color grade. You could choose H or I for the same result. But G and F diamonds are an exceptional fit for white gold or platinum settings if you're interested in those higher grades. For it to appear colorless like a J or I brilliant cut, you may have to move up the scale to G or F. The additional cost of this higher color grade is offset by the lower cost per carat for step cuts compared to round diamond. Should you choose an F or G color diamond? Comparing F versus G diamonds requires understanding how that difference in color grade affects its appearance and performance. Although the two are next to each other on the color scale and appear similar, it's important to choose the diamond that's right for you. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.